What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're talking archery releases. Uh, I get asked all the time here on the channel what releases I recommend so I figured it'd be good to just make a video talking about what I keep in my personal stash as far as index releases, thumb buttons, and then also back tensions. Now starting with an index style release, um, it's been a long time since I've shot an index release. I actually made the transition uh, back in 2019 over to a handheld release. I still use this release as a backup throughout the hunting season so I'll keep this in my backpack at all times just in case I happen to lose a handheld release while I'm out in the field then my hunt's not over. Um, this, the index release that I really enjoy and have enjoyed since 2019 is the Spot Hog Tough Guy. Um, Spot Hog is obviously known for making super reliable and very durable archery products. Now uh, going forward if I were to pick up a uh, a new index style release in 2024, I would opt to go with one that has an open hook design, uh, but being that I don't shoot index releases very often, like I said, I just, I haven't made the investment and I just hold on to the Spot Hog Tough Guy because it's kind of like a tried and true uh, release for me. Now, as I mentioned in 2019 is when I really made the transition over from an index to a handheld and picked up probably one of my all time favorite releases, the Carter Wise Choice. Now I've ran this release basically from 2020 all the way up until 2024 um, and this is an outstanding release um, it is still available today but they have released an updated version which they call the wise choice 24 and, and we'll talk about some of the differences between this older one and the newer one uh, but what I really liked about this release at the time and I still like about it is it is very simplistic to set this thing up um, there's only one adjustment screw uh, which is going to allow you to control the trigger tension so how hot or how cold you like it um, immediately when picking this release up uh, I love the way that it felt in the hand and I also really like the index loop uh, one thing that was a concern for me when transitioning from an index to a handheld was the possibility of it slipping out of my hand and for whatever reason that index loop did make it feel like it was a little more secure now another reason that I really like the wise choice is because it does have a closed loop or a closed self-closing jaw so you can put this on your d-loop and hang your bow up in a tree stand uh, and you don't have to worry about it falling off um, like i said an, an outstanding release now uh, the changes on the new 2024 is they did beef up the triggering system in their new wise choice making it a little bit more robust i know people were complaining about failures on the older wise choices i've never personally had an issue uh, but like i said they did beef that system up and then they also added back in a travel adjustment screw really giving you the ability to kind of further dial that release in for how you like to shoot um, and then also probably my only complaint about the wise choice was the fact that you didn't have a whole lot of adjustability when it came to the thumb peg um, as far as like the the positioning of it so they do include their adjusto trigger bar uh, which you could buy separately if you have an older wise choice uh, but now the newer ones will come with it and like I said it just gives you more flexibility to set the release up for your desired fit and for how you like to shoot. Now, when talking about hinge style releases, I've shot multiple hinges over the years, uh, but the one that I picked up in 2024 that I really enjoyed um, was the HBC. Now this is an older model. They do have a more updated one, which is the HBC Flex. Uh, really the only difference between those two releases is the fact that the new one does give you the ability to swivel that third finger so you can run it a little more forward or a little more swept back. The body of the release is exactly the same aside from that third finger. The, the neck or the, the head, the release head design is the same the sears the same um, so everything has basically stayed the same um, from very early on with the hbc releases because again it's another tried and true uh, hinge system now um, what i really like about this hinge is that it does have the auto returning head um, and then it is micro adjustable which for me if, if i'm going to shoot a hinge is definitely something that's a requirement for me uh, and then also i really like the fact that you have these engravings on the side which tell you how hot or how cold you have the release set up. Now, another really nice thing about uh, the Trueball HBC lineups is just their click. Um, I've shot other hinges where the click isn't as audible as this one is. 
um, and you kind of feel the click a little bit more in the body of the release versus actually hearing it. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about uh, the ones where you, you feel the click a little bit more in the release is in the heat of the moment, sometimes it's easy to just roll right through the click while you're drawing your bow. Whereas like with this one, like I said, you'll, very, you'll definitely hear this click go off. Now the next release, which I just most recently purchased and has since replaced my Carter Wise Choice is the Carter Too Simple. I love Carter releases. I think they do an excellent job. I think they make an excellent product. Um, their releases are very crisp. And the, the thing that really sells me on Carter is that even with a travel setting, you can still achieve a zero travel release. And that's a true zero. There's no uh, leftover travel in the system like there are if you shoot like the Stan Onyx. Um, you can set that to zero travel, but you still have a little bit of play in that thumb peg where you're not gonna get that with the Carter release. Now with the Too Simple, another main uh, reason why I picked this up is because of the shorter neck design. Um, I was uh, trying to increase my draw length and one way to do that is to find a release with a very short neck. Um, and this allowed me to go from 26 and a half inches back up to 27 inches and still maintain that exact same anchor point. Um, and since picking this release up, it was a little bit of an adjustment because I lost that index loop. Uh, but like I said, I've, I've really grown to like this release. I've been shooting it um, since I picked it up in early 2024. Also use this on my turkey hunt. And like I said, fantastic release. It does feel very similar to the Carter Wise Choice. Now one downside with this release is you do lose the lanyard loop that you get on the Carter Wise Choice. But other than that, an absolutely fantastic release. And, and like I said, definitely will be one that I hang on to. Um, and it's really led me down the path of considering uh, selling my Carter Wise Choice. Now there are some releases that I have tested out over the years that I feel like deserve like an honorable mention. Um, if you guys are looking to upgrade in 2024, uh, these are definitely releases that I would highly recommend that you consider. And the first one would be an index style release. If I were personally to buy another index, uh, the Scott S2 would be at the top of my releases to pick up. Um, they did an outstanding job on that release. They utilized the double sear design, very similar to the sear system in a hinge, which really gives you the ability to customize the trigger tension and then also the trigger travel. I also like the fact that it utilizes a nylon strap on that release. Uh, another index that would be, again, at the top of my list would be the, Sans, uh, the Stan Solex. They did an outstanding job on that release as well. When it first came out, there were some issues with it, but they've since resolved that. Um, it does utilize a uh, nylon strap, so you have a very wide range of adjustment. Very easy to dial that release in for your preference. And like I said, a, a really good option. Also a very crisp release. Now on the hinge side of things, if I were to buy another hinge, I would recommend that you look at two. I would look at the Scott Longhorn Pro Micro or the UV Hinge 2.0. Uh, the one thing that I liked about the Scott Longhorn was the hand handle design. Uh, it made it so you could basically um, draw the bow with a flat hand and you didn't have to cant the release so heavily like I have to do on the HBC. Um, for me, it just made for a more repeatable shot execution. Um, so like I said, that's definitely an option I would check out. And then in regards to the Hinge 2.0, um, what I really like about that release is A, the, the body of it. They did an outstanding job on that design. I also really like the weight of their stainless steel option. And then I also really like the fact that you have the independent moon adjustment so you can adjust your trigger uh, or you can adjust your click moon and then your fire moon whereas uh, with a, a hinge that has a single sear the hotter you make it the faster your click is going to be and the less rotation it, it will require whereas again with the hinge 2.0 you could adjust the click for that to be on the hotter side, but still have a decent amount of rotation uh, to get the release to fire. So I like that you have that ability to further customize that. Um, and then when it comes to a thumb button, um, Obviously, I would recommend the UV button uh, just for the simple fact that, again, you can set that up to be 100% zero travel, um, even though that they have a travel adjustment. And then also what I really liked is that uh, being that the Hinge 2.0 and the UV button share the same body design and the same hook location, you can transition between those two releases very easily and you don't have to worry about your anchor point changing. But uh, like I said, I just wanted to answer a bunch of questions that I've been 
getting recently about what releases I would personally recommend. Like I said, this is what's in my personal stash, uh, but I also gave you guys a decent list of other releases that I would definitely recommend that you check out um, if, if these do not fit uh, your budget or fit the style of release that you're looking for. Uh, of course, if you guys have any other questions, you can leave me a comment below. You can always reach out to me uh, directly on Instagram. I'm always happy to help. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed, please do so. Your guys' support greatly helps us out, keeps us doing what we're doing. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.